Welcome Virgos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 18th of July through to Sunday the 24th of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. Thank you. First card out is wealthy man. Interesting because I was channeling uh virgos for you that you might be um you might also be quite a wealthy lady yeah look yeah or vice versa uh virgo men you could be the wealthy man and whoever you're connecting with i feel that you're both at equal status um in life so they may be an um a wealthy woman or a you know uh, there's two masculine and feminine energies coming in here. So even if you are the same sex, I would say that in terms of status, uh, both of you are of the same class or the same status. Uh, I feel, uh, Virgos, uh, I feel that uh, many of you, uh, I feel the expectation, I do feel that is your energy, Virgos, whether you are male or female. I feel that you are uh, waiting. You're waiting to hear from somebody that I kind of feel is somebody quite new in your life. Okay, I feel that you're waiting. I feel that you've you've met somebody or you're going to be meeting somebody. Um, if you haven't met them yet, you may be feeling stirred that there's something coming towards you. An official person... Do you know something for some of you um you might be i'm gonna call it as i see it right F particularly for those of you that are in the uk i don't know if you've got royal connections but <clears throat> i feel that i'm reading for um a crowd of you that i would say were quite well to do okay definitely moving in circles of royalty or um high class people what what you know maybe even celebrities okay um and i would say that there is like official people that are around you this could be uh royalty um in some shape form or another what i am picking up as these cards have come out virgos <coughs> this lady here male or female i feel that it's your energy if you are male, you are definitely uh, connecting with your feminine energy. Virgo women, you are definitely uh, connecting with your feminine energy and you're waiting. OK, I feel that you are waiting to hear from this wealthy man, energy person. Um, this official person, um, Virgos, either might be a relation to you. Or you yourself may be like maybe you've got some sort of bodyguard or you've got some sort of official person that you like your job or, or your environment, your family or something um, has official people around you. I feel as if <coughs> you're being guided to be patient uh, many of you, I feel that whoever this wealthy man energy is, I feel that they've gone through a lot of heartbreak. And I see I see that they feel that you are somebody that they could build a home with. They see that you have a lot of love to give. And that you've actually really made a difference in their life, actually. So for you, this person could actually be the one, but it feels as if if they've gone through some heartbreak, they're not ready to commit yet. And that's why I feel that you're being guided to be patient. And as you do so, I feel ground yourself, connect with yourself so that you're not waiting around, but you can go with the flow. Trust you, you genuinely might be the one. I feel as if um, whatever this person has gone through, I am picking up, it might have been really, really unhealthy. And so therefore, your presence in their life might be helping them to heal from that so that they can have this new beginning. And I feel that this new beginning, this new love uh, is with you. 
but this person may be still going through a healing process, which I feel that you may have been put into their life to trigger, to help them along that journey. All right. Thank you. And yeah, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So if there has, if it's you and this person that have, uh, there's been some sort of heartbreak or um, some sort of upset, uh, I feel that you're being guided to bring some playfulness. Um, try not, to, try to be in the present without any expectations. Um, if this is somebody that is totally new, I feel I'm picking up that it is somebody totally new. I feel if they have gone through some heartache, it, it, it hit them real bad. It was very unhealthy for them. And so you're being guided to know that you have made a real difference in this person's life. Um, and I feel you're being guided to bring some playfulness. It's like, um, as you guys have got to know each other, or as you're getting to know each other, for you, Virgo, it seems like it's it. you're beginning to really feel those feelings of love towards this person. And so I feel that you're being guided to be in the present, bring some playfulness, and try not to put any expectations. Be in the present, okay? Because I feel that this person isn't ready. Whoever this wealthy man energy is, they're not ready to jump straight into a new relationship. But... You have made a difference in their life. They can see a future with you, but they may not be ready quite yet. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages? Oh, wow. Yeah, look. Look at what's come up. So we've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So whether or not um, you've known this person before, but it's only now that the two of you are kind of coming together on a romantic um, sense. I mean, this person could have been a uh, childhood sweetheart, okay, who, you know, maybe, you know, he was, he or she was um, in some sort of official capacity that took them away from you. They now returned, okay, um, but this is a new love, yeah, that, you know, it's it's definitely a new love. Uh, which is your true love, okay? And it was worth waiting for. So it feels as if uh, many of you were waiting for this person to return from somewhere. But I feel in the interim of when they were away, they had their heart broken. For some of you, um, I'm going to say it, but if this person um, was involved, like they were part of um, whatever country, a war, it, it 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 had a real impact on them in a very negative unhealthy way and so as this is coming in as like a new love uh it's almost like you may have known this person before they went to war or they went to the army or they went into some sort of official capacity to do with their job, their their country. And so it feels as if they're, if they're, this is what this reconciliation is. But it's coming through as I'm channeling, it, channeling the message as like a new love. So it's either somebody that you knew from like childhood but in that period of separation, that you know, this might even be a twin flame. In that period of separation, they have uh, gone through some real distress, heartbreak, but they are true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. They are your true love. And they were definitely worth waiting for, which you can see that this energy there is somebody waiting. So... This expectation, Virgo, is definitely your energy coming here. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You're being guided that you made a difference to this person. And I feel that they know that happiness, building a future with you, is um, definitely on the horizon, okay? I feel that this person imagines that. 
thinks about that, but they're not quite ready because they've gone through either some sort of trauma or some sort of heartbreak that really impacted them. So I feel that you're being guided to be patient because you have made a difference, even if this person isn't expressing it. They are definitely worth waiting for and it feels as if they are, a, yeah, as it says, uh, a romance of a lifetime. All right, Virgos, if this message resonates for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Virgos. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of virgo sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 18th of july through to Sunday the 24th of July 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, let's see what's going on here. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell, thank you and thank you. So we've got, yeah, whoever it is that you are connecting with, this wealthy man, I feel that whatever they have experienced, uh, whether it they went to war or they were taken away for work in an official capacity, uh, maybe an ambassador for their uh, country, uh, maybe, you know, in an official role of their company or their country, uh, they definitely want to put it behind them and move forward. I feel with you, with the four of pentacles, yeah, this person has definitely been thinking about you a lot, maybe in this time apart, in this time of separation, there is definitely a reconciliation here, all right, um, uh, do you know, this really does feel like a past life experience, it feels very, um, I feel like I'm going back in time, Virgo, like, you know, those old, like, wartime movies? This is, this reading feels like that. So this reconciliation may um, not only be a reconciliation of, um, like, your physical selves, okay? If this person went away on official business somewhere, but it also feels as if this is a reconciliation of the souls, so maybe you and this person had a true love connection uh, back in the war, war days, war times, World War One, World War Two. But it never took off or they never returned. And so therefore the true love connection never materialized. This person has been returned to you in this lifetime. That, I don't even know where that came from, but that is what they were giving me just now. Yeah, and I've just got goosebumps. Yeah, I, I think um, this is somebody that you knew in, in wartime. So actually, this official person, uh, it may not be like a war in our time, but it may have been in like World War One or World War Two or a major war in your country. It could be now because there are wars and civil wars that are going on across the globe. So take what it what what resonates for you. But this person is definitely in an official capacity to do with their country, I feel. Their job, their work. And I feel that the two of you have had many lives together with that true love. And they maybe did not return to you in a past life experience where there was heavy war. 
And so they've been returned to you in this lifetime. With the four of pentacles, this person doesn't want to let you go. So if, if this is resonating, if whoever you're connecting with Virgo, there is a familiarity about them and you've wondered whether or not this is your twin flame or a really, really deep soulmate, I feel that you would be correct. It feels as if this true love, they held on to it and they may be still hold, spiritually holding on to it. And they've brought it into this lifetime. So it feels as if their energy and that love for you is very, 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 very strong. It's like this person, like through hell or high water, they were returning to you in some lifetime because of the love that they have for you. Okay. It just so happens it's this lifetime that you've actually crossed each other's paths. But they are still healing. They're still healing. So either this person was really injured in the war in a past life experience or they are injured in a war now or uh, in our reality. Let's let's just bring it back to reality. Um, uh, this person may have had some sort of heartbreak, disappointment that was um, that left them perhaps very, very angry. Very in an unhealthy mindset. And so uh, this is why you're, I feel that you're being guided to be patient because you've made a massive difference. Spiritually, you may be the anchor for them to keeping them connected to the light. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let you go. They've been thinking about you all the time. With the seven of pentacles coming in reverse. So there's a lot of um, the seeds of this connection definitely have been planted. Okay. With it coming in reverse, it failed. It failed in some shape, form or another. So again, this is telling me I really am picking up. This is a past life connection where this true love did not take off. And it's coming, the cycles come back into this lifetime. This is the connection didn't fail. The, 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 sorry, the connection failed. A lot of seeds were planted. The connection grew. Look, the, this person's basket is empty. It never took off. And so with it coming in reverse, both of you knew that the connection failed. And if it is a past life experience... Yeah, it failed because this person was either at war or they were deeply injured and they never got to return to you. They are returning to you in this lifetime because they failed. It's almost like, it's almost as if they have a soul contract with you, thinking about it really, really heavily, wanting to put an end to almost being in limbo spiritually. This feels very, very deep. Um... Yeah, with the page of cups, I feel that this person is coming in with an apology for not returning to you. If it's not a, an apology, they're coming in with a green light, a small token of love. And I feel that you're being guided to reciprocate with joyfulness, playfulness, flirtiness. Thank you. And look, there we go, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is this definitely a fated connection, reconciliation. So it feels as if the two of you are meant to reconcile in this lifetime. This is a past life experience that is extremely deep. I don't think I've ever kind of um, read something, uh, a tarot, that really, I feel like I'm going back in time. And this person has come into your life now. So if you look at the bigger picture and you are feeling that there's a real deep, deep connection with this person and they are a little bit quiet or they they are they maybe pull their energy back and forth and you're waiting, you're waiting for, uh, you know, what is going to pan out with this person. Be patient. You have made a massive difference, not in this lifetime, a massive difference in their past life. And I feel that they recognise you just as much as you recognise them as this true love, as their true love. Uh, this love is definitely worth waiting for. Divine Spirit Universe is bringing you into reconciliation 
to um, heal a past life soul contract that was never fulfilled. Wow. Let's continue. Thank you. And yeah, look, the chariot, this person was going through healing. I can't even make it up. They are rushing in victorious after deep healing. That's what the chariot card means. Different backgrounds, different uh, countries, different locations. Also could be dealing with the Cancerian. They want to put all the past of what they've gone through, past life separation, current life separation. They want to put it all behind them and move forward. Notice how all of those swords are down. They don't want to talk about what it is they went through that broke their heart, that traumatised them. Let's continue. Thank you. And then we've had, look, there's the page of cups again. So, yeah, this here, this is them that's coming towards you with an apology, okay? Um, or they're coming in with a small token of love to give you the green light that they do want to reconcile, they do want to build a future with you and be with you. Uh, with the eight of coins, they're definitely looking at the detail of this con uh, connection. That's the eight of coins, that's the seven of coins. This person knows there's a lot of um, time and energy that has gone into this connection in our reality. If I look at this past life experience that you've had with this person, I would say that they look. They are looking at the details, they're connecting the dots, that you are their true love. There is something that is unfinished between the two of you, that's why they can't let it go. Uh, and they are manifesting, they are manifesting answers, they have been manifesting you back. It almost feels as if the bond between you and this person was so strong in past lives that they're not letting it go they're not letting it go they have been manifesting to return to you look queen of wands male or female it's like they recognize that a soul contract wasn't fulfilled because they were, went through something when they either went to war in past lives or when they were separated from you in some shape, form or another, they are fully aware that the connection failed and they want you to return to them. Thank you. Yep, and you definitely want to build a future with this person. Virgo, your uh, symbol is coming up on that key. You want to build a future with this person. So you, even though you know that... Um, Something failed, maybe you're feeling like something failed long ago. It's the past life. You've had a past life experience with this person and it was uh, true love. It was the romance of your life. It's just happened that you've been very, very fortunate that it spans over many lifetimes, okay? And in this lifetime, you definitely want to build a future with this person. Thank you. And look at that, can't even make it up. Faith. And the Four of Swords. You feel that this person has been divinely guided into your life. Um, you do see them as a uh, um, um, long-term commitment marriage. Yeah, you're being guided to walk in faith. This person is worth waiting for. Many of you uh, are trying to like rest that monkey mind. Um, there's a rebirth with the red and the white flower. It's almost as if the cycle that the two of you have gone through in past lives of this person not returning to you is finally closed. It's 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 finished. There's a rebirth here. And I feel that you're being guided to walk in faith because they are a true love. Um, and this is a true love that spans lifetimes. Um, Virgos. Wow. They, this person did not let you go because they want you to return to them. It's like spiritually, their spirit, their soul has been almost, oh God, I can't even believe it. They're telling me, like, I've got to say what's in my heart, what I'm, what I'm being guided. It's like this person's soul has been moving lifetime after lifetime searching for you to come back to you because this is your true love. This is like somebody that is, look, and there's the lover's card. These came out, look, your twin flame. 
Gemini coming out here, Taurus. That's why this person is your twin flame. And there was a disconnect. Yes, many of you may have felt that they rejected you in that past life experience. The reason they didn't return is because they were rejecting you. They, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It feels like something stopped them from returning. Either they were injured, whether they just couldn't get back to you. But spiritually, I'm telling you, Virgos, this person's soul has been walking, traveling, lifetime after lifetime, seeking you so that you can return to them. But many of you, you felt that this person uh, rejected you back then. They didn't. And that is why you have this expectation waiting for them to come back. Not sure in our reality. It's like, is this going to take off? It absolutely will. Give it time. Give it time. Pisces is popping out here. With the um, Six of Cups, this is just echoing the two of you have lived many, many lives uh, together feeling nostalgic you don't need to feel nostalgic now divine spirit universe is bringing this person back to you the knight of coins in reverse this person is suppressing um how they're feeling yeah and i did say that they are going through some healing and then we've got the seven of swords uh the secret is now at the seven of swords is secrets it's reverse it almost feels as if the secret of the depth of this connection spanning lifetimes is now coming out in the open. Yeah, the connection between the two of you is honestly and truly beyond uh, your imagination. Because this person's soul has definitely been traveling um, to find you. So be patient. Honestly, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You've made a massive difference. It's like, you know, when um, soldiers go to war back in the day and they used to hold pictures of their sweetheart. It's like uh, spiritually they've held the picture of you for all those past lifetimes. That is what has almost anchored them to you. It's created um, a bond a bond to continue to find you and here we go the time is right have faith have faith your desire is about to come to fruition absolutely so whatever it is you're waiting for the answer is one this is your true love that has spanned many lifetimes two they are worth waiting for and three you've made a massive difference in their life not in just this lifetime but in past lifetimes and so your desire is about to come forward with that wheel of fortune. Look at that. I can't even make it up. You are a special person. You do make a difference. What did I say to you? You made a difference to this person's life. But I feel that you're being guided that you, A, you made a difference to this person's life. It's just echoing what I was channeling. But also as well, um, you make a difference to a lot of people. Yeah. And you are in control of your own destiny. So you're being guided that you've got, to have, you've got some choices to make. For me, the Wheel of Fortune, this is a fated connection. This is something that Divine Spirit Universe has written. A de your destiny is the choices that you make to get to your fated place, the path that you're supposed to be on, your life purpose. They're saying that you are in control of the choices that you make. Okay? Know that you make a difference. Reconnect with yourself. In our reality, in our day and time, many of you may feel that this person is rejecting you. They're not coming forward. It's not the case. This connection is so, so deep, Virgos, okay, that you're being guided almost to be aware that uh, you are in control of the choices that you make now. So it almost feels as if you can't even react to this person in our time and in our reality. You need to go deep spiritually. You don't need to be waiting around for this person. Let them come to you because they have healing. They are, I feel really elated that they have finally found you. And they will come forward, I feel, because they see the happiness. They see the true love. 
They see that you are the person that they wanted to build a future with way back then and that hasn't changed in this lifetime. This is such an amazing story. Um, but I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgos. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.